Hello and welcome back to Experimental Deck Building. I'm Onidson, and today we will be taking the Experimental Decks of the Shadows of the Wild Fellowship up against Escape from Umbar. This is the last test in the deck building, um, or the deck testing regimen we've put together for these decks. This one will be very challenging. Um, it specializes in punishing side quests. Well, it specializes in punishing a lot, really. Um, you need to um, start off quickly, um, hit the ground running, as it were. And the pace never really lets up. Um, the main punishment for side quests is this objective here, seize them, starts out in play, reads, at the end of the round, if the main quest has been in play the entire round and there are no progress tokens on it, the players lose the game. In addition, after an enemy attacks and destroys a character, remove progress equal to the attacking enemy's threat from the main quest. So, we will need to get progress on this quest from turn one and maintain that progress as sort of a resource to buffer against various effects like the forced effect we read or the effect on the umbar sentry here after it attacks we either remove a progress token from the quest or it gets plus to attack for this attack that can be as you might imagine devastating um, so we will have to maintain a balance between clearing side quests and keeping progress on the main quest there's also a number of side quests in here that are shall we say, less than helpful. <laughs> They're encounter side quests, so of course they're less than helpful, but they are particularly punishing. One requires us to discard down to five cards and makes it so we cannot have more than five cards in our hand at any time. Another um, nominates a Southron champion, which we will have to defeat but which we can't defeat unless we've uh, cleared the quest stage. So it's a, uh, a catch-22 there. So this will be an interesting playthrough, I think. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our opening hands. For deck one, I am completely satisfied. We have a Hobbit Pipe. We have Willpower. We have Glorfindel. We have Card Draw. And once we get Glorfindel, we have Alron's Council. So, and we have Double Back, which means that Deck 2, when we play out Gather Information, we'll be able to pull up something else instead of our side quest. Probably, frankly, um, Arwen would be my guess, unless we look like we're getting location locked, in which case I might pull out a Northern Tracker. With our existing high-cost cards in the hand, though, it might be a while before we can get that tracker out, so we'll probably prioritize our win. For deck two, our opening hand is... not as great. There's no card draw in it. I like having the defensive attachments for Sam quickly. And I like having a Halfling Bounder so that we can get some protection against treacheries quickly, hopefully from turn two. And I like having some extra attack power available early. But none of these really, really excite me. So let's go ahead and take a mulligan. This will be taking a risk, I think, because there are much worse hands, certainly. But, well, and there we go. I think, objectively, this is a worse hand, but it comes with card draw and readying for Sam. So that is a start. Let's go ahead and uh, start the game. Each player adds a different location. I'll be choosing Narrow Alleyway and the Umbar Street. And we engage Umbar Sentries.
there we go. We shuffle the encounter deck, and we advance to stage 1B. There we are. And let's collect resources and draw our opening cards. Oh, well, we got a Northern Tracker anyways. That's all right. Oh, and the Rindir's card is Gather Information. And let's immediately, because we can, play Deep Knowledge to draw two cards. And over here, doing the same. All right, so the first thing we will do is play Resourceful onto Pippin, who will now get an extra resource every round. Then we will play Gladriel's Handmaiden, reducing our own threat by one. And then we will play Double Back. Not because I expect to clear it anytime soon, but because it is good to have it out there. We will also play the Hobbit Pipe on Pippin. Over here, our first thing, our first order of business will be to play Gather Information. Spend one resource on a fast hitch for Sam. Sam, by the way, is boosted to two defense because this Umbar Sentry engaged us this turn. And with our final resource, I think, let us play a Dunedain Pipe and shuffle away Halberad. Because we'll be clearing gather information, drawing a new card, which is take no notice. Because we'll be clearing gather information probably next round, Halbrad will get shuffled back in where we can more easily pull him out with send for aid. Sam will save up. I would really like to see some defense boosts. We will see what happens. There's five threat in the staging area. We can commit two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen willpower to the quest. First reveal. Enemy pursuit. Either remove all progress from the main quest or assign X damage among characters in play. X is the number of progress tokens on the main quest. Regardless, this does nothing and again does not gain surge. I am very grateful for that, and we'll take what I can get. The second card of staging is a Southern Archer. We raise, we add two threat to the staging area. Fatty Boulder will exhaust to cancel that enemy's threat, and we are now making eight progress on the main quest, traveling to a narrow alleyway to put that guy away. Sam will ready using fast hitch. He's now defending for two, and there is archery three to be assigned. One to Mary, one to Pippin, one to Folkel Boffin. Yeah, this is not going to be fun. That's a lot of archery. Okay, we will remove a progress token from the main quest to block with Sam. There's no shadow effect. We are now ready. Drawing Halbrad again. Let's send the second copy of Halbrad to the bottom of the deck. Drawing instead Robin Smallbro. Okay. Over here, we desperately need to get some card, to get some of Sam's defensive suite in over here. So we will play an Ancient Madam right there. We also desperately need to draw some attack power. Although I suppose deck two is actually first player. So we are going to get some willpower out. And then other than that, let's also play a Wandering Duke, which we will now have 
the ability to put, yeah, we now have enough space for archery for the moment, I think. Okay, let's quest with Mary Pippin 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16 against five in the staging area. We'll clear the narrow alleyway and gather information. We'll need six to do it. We shall manage, I think. Let's then Hold back focal buffin and actually play a legacy blade on him. It might be important. So with six Okay, so that will be fourteen against five. We need to make six progress to clear it. I think we can manage. The first real reveal is a port of Harad. The second reveal is nowhere to hide. The first player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. And the first enemy... Oh, goodness gracious. Is a Sutheran Archer. We will choose to remove two progress from the main quest instead of discarding an ally we control. Goodness gracious. So we've added one threat to the staging area. We are making eight progress. That will... Oh, that readies Sam Gamgee, by the way. That will be enough to clear the narrow alleyway and more than enough to clear gather information. Which will reveal and put into play another Umbar sentry. And we draw three cards. Almost completely useless. Almost completely useless there. Let's travel to the Umbar Street. Okay, Sam is currently defending for three, which is something worthwhile. There's currently archery six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We will sneak attack in Rosie Cotton. Why? Because this is the weird world we live in. We will choose to remove two progress from the main quest. We will sacrifice Rosie. Discard an attachment we control. Let's discard the Dune Din pipe. There goes Rosie. Sam will block once, twice, and Folco will attack back to put two damage on the number sentry. This might be game. I can't handle. So ready everybody up. Draw a new card. Elevens is a doomed in warning. Let's play out Rosie. Let's play out an Imladris Caregiver. Let's play out Glorfindel. Target double back. Let's, with the Imladris Caregiver, discard take no notice to discard both copies of Take No Notice to heal two damage. That wasn't what I wanted. 
There we are. And I might just barely now have enough hit points to get through that archery. Elrond's Council drops this deck's threat by one, and or by three, draws up another card. There's Arwen. Okay. Now we can quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, ten, eleven, I think. Uh, this now has three threat. There's still five in the staging area. So eleven, twelve, thirteen, because he can't do anything but quest. The first reveal is an over a square. The second is a second port of Harad. Wrong token. We've added five threat to the staging area. We'll use Fatty Boulder to cancel the threat of the archer. We're making now five progress. We're getting somewhere. There is now Archery Six. Okay. We'll put three on Glorfindel. Four, five, six. Okay. Enemies will now make attacks. We will do that. No, we will not put those two there. We will put those two, one on Fatty and one on Rosie Cotton. Sam Gamgee will defend first against the Archer. He's defending for three. He takes a damage. And then he will again defend against that guy. And then we will take this final attack undefended, putting two damage onto Thrindir. Whew. Thrindir will attack and kill that on bar sentry while focal boffin puts two damage there. We're ready everybody up. Collect resources. We will immediately discard two cards to heal, two damage. We will also play a Dunedain Warning onto Sam, who is now defending for two, and we will put another Immoderous Caregiver into play. And now we're out of cards. Over here, we'll spend two to put Arwen into play, and reduce our threat by three to draw a card, Myth Hobbit Pipes. Okay. Not useless, but not useful either. How many hit points do we have available? One, two, three, four, five. Five without killing any of them. Luckily, that's the exact amount of archery we have. So, let's quest to double back. Three, four, five. You know what? 
Actually, I want to slightly retcon things. I would rather put into play a Halfling Bounder than that Imladris Caregiver and instead discard to the Imladris Caregiver. With that noted, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, targeting Sam. He's now a respectable defender. 10, 11, 12, 13, 12, 13, 14. against eight in the staging area. First reveal, Southern Champion. Oh goodness. We'll reveal a Southern Soldier, who is now officially the champion. Okay. Immune to player card effects. Main quest stage can't be defeated. Wonderful. And the second reveal of staging is a narrow alleyway. So we've added five, seven. And Fatty will exhaust to cancel. Oh, he's immune to player card effects. Fatty will exhaust to cancel threat on the Southern Archer. And put one progress and double back. Traveling to a narrow alleyway putting the, well, wait. I think I have enough attack power here to kill both of them. We can get five right there, or even five there just from uh, the attack from Rosie Cotton. And then three. Well, okay, I only need two attack there. Thurindir will kill the Umbar Sentry, and I can get one, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, I do not have enough attack to kill both of them, so we will put that archer out of play for a round, which seems wise. Now there's archery three, which I will put one there, and one on the Halfling Bounder, and one on Arwen. Okay, and I guess Sam will block, and we'll pull progress off the main quest. Choose a non-unique enemy in the staging area. Southern Archer. I will discard that in my address caregiver from play. Um, Sam, actually, probably shouldn't have readied with Fast Hitch. Um, because, well, I guess with the, uh, well, no, it wouldn't, it would have been stupid to ready with Sam with Fast Hitch. That's habit speaking. Also, I didn't know that shadow effect existed. But that's what I did anyway. So Sam is now defending for four against a Southern Archer, which is fine. So now, let's attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and kill the Southern Archer, which is fine. That's all right. We're actually in an okay place. Let's ready up. 
reducing the threat of those ports of Harad. Okay. Oh, good. We needed that. All right. Deck one. We'll play out a northern tracker. Play island amid perils to return Gladrail's handmaiden to hand. Reducing threat by two and drawing a card with the Hobbit Pipe. And then spend two more to put her into play. Reducing side quest deck threat. And we will over here play Build a Pony for free. Alright, now we have a little more breathing space, I think. We will need seven, nine attack to kill the Southern Champion. Which we cannot do yet. We desperately need to put some progress onto the main quest. So let's, without any further ado, start questing three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, targeting Sam. 10, 11, 12, 13. Putting progress on all those locations. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We quest for 18 against 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. 18 against 9. The Southern Archer under there will ready Sam automatically. First reveal is an umbar square. Second reveal is an umbar sentry who gains surge into another umbar sentry, which goes into nowhere to hide. We're discarding a halfling bounder to cancel that. Okay, so we've added four threat. Um, okay, we make five progress. The Umbar sentries can remain in the staging area at the moment. Oh. And that Southern Archer now engages this deck. We will drop that off. And without any further attack power, this is suddenly going to be obnoxious. Deck 1 will optionally engage a number sentry, which will ready Sam. Or Deck 2 will do so. We have enough attack power to kill both sentries. Okay, there's currently archery one, two, three, four, five. So let's put one, two, three, four, five. Um, we will use the sentries. We'll wait just a moment. Sam is defending for three. Four? Sam is defending for four all on his own. Never mind. We won't bother. We won't bother. Okay, this is going to be the dangerous bit. There are no shadow cards left. Fatty Boulder will defend a southern archer. Rosie Cotton will boost his defense. Oh gosh. We will engage on Bar Sentry, deal it a shadow card. And raise our threat with Pippin's ability to push it back to the staging area. There are no shadow cards to deal it, so we're fine. <sighs> okay, that wasn't awful. Over here, Sam will first defend against that Umbar sentry, who is attacking for four. Five. Which is enough to put a damage on him, will ready and defend against the other one who was attacking before with no shadow effect. Now, the Rindir will attack back, kill this one, and between Folko and Build a Pony, 
We will kill the next Umbar sentry. And... Ready up. Let's see what we draw. A Dwarven Tomb. And a Dune Pipe. Okay. Now we really kind of need to kill a Southern Archer here. Let's... Spend three, dropping a Galadrin's Greeting over here, because I think we need to lower some threat, and spend one pull, playing a Dwarven Tomb on Eldon's Council. And over here, because we can, we will play a Dunedain Pipe. If we draw something useless, I think I totally forgot to trigger the response on gather information, but too late now. So, there's currently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 threat in the staging area. Okay. If I hold back all my combat power, I can get three, four, five, six, and if I hold back one hobbit, seven, which is enough to kill the Sutherland Archer. And if that hobbit is Fatty Bolger, more the better. Okay. Let's target double back. Now, yes, let's target double bat. Get some more threat reduction now. No, threat reduction isn't helping us. Let's target Southrun Champion. If we put some progress tokens on here, then we can... Oh, that won't boost up our attack. We need to boost up our attack to kill the champion. So if we target double, double back... That might actually do something. Okay. So, we'll quest with Glorfindel. Discarding 11s is to ready him. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Again, targeting Sam. 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 against 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 17 against 12 in the staging area, we need to make 3 progress. We'll make it 20. Yeah, that seems right. First reveal, the Numbar Sentry, who surges into nowhere to hide. The first player will discard cards until we find an enemy, a Numbar Sentry, who will ready Sam. And the second reveal of staging is an Umbar Street. So we've added four threat to the staging area. We still make enough progress to clear double back. Reducing our threat by five both places. There is now five archery. And we are going to be in some ridiculous trouble here. Um, traveling to the Umbar Street. Oh. Actually, we have to increase the threat by two, which means we were really only made two progress, so we'll have to commit, we'll have to exhaust Rosie to make up the difference. Sam is still defending for four, though. Which will hopefully be enough. Volko is now attacking for four. 
And there's our 3-5. We'll play one point of damage there. Two. Three. Four. Five. And we are all tapped out as far as hero hit points are concerned. Let's play that just to get the Hobbit pipe out. Well, could be worse. Let's do attacks. We will. No. Sam's getting. Uh, yeah, let's remove a progress. We'll block and attack the Sam. Ready it just in case the shadow effect says we can't ready. Really? And Sam will block. one attack, dealing a point of damage to Sam. Over here, we'll throw a wandering book under the bus. Oh, which loses the game right there. Not that the next draw would have done me any good. Well, maybe if I had Dune Dane piped it away, Nothing. One could have hoped for Waters of Nimrodel for the hard reset, but that is game. Because we end the game with that. Well, that was fun. We almost made it. Bad shadow card. We'd have otherwise killed a Southern Archer, killed the Umbar Sentry, and been in a position to be facing only Archery to the next round. Would we have drawn anything that helped over here? No. But even Archery 2 we could deal with. We'd have placed it in places that... Yeah, we'd probably have killed off a Wandering Took and killed off Maybe the Handmaiden. Or I'd have played the Dundane Pathfinder, and there's an extra hit point right there. And the Northern Tracker would have chipped away at that over the next couple of rounds and would have been fine. But instead we lost. That's okay. It was fun and informative, and we shall try again. Hello, and welcome back. Um... I have decided, as you may might be able to tell, to pursue a different strategy this time round. I've chosen to push the Umbar Sentry back to the staging area with Pippin, and choose the Port of Harad instead of the Umbar Alleyway, or the Umbar Street, whatever it's called. Um, the three threat location, the three progress points, to give us a gentler opening start, hopefully put more progress on the first stage on um, the main quest in the first round. With the Umbar Sentry in the staging area, when we travel to the narrow alleyway, we can put this Umbar Sentry underneath it, after engaging this one. So I guess without any further ado, let's get started. A second Hobbit Pipe. Impressive. Rosy Cotton. Also impressive. All right. Also, we're going to grab gather information because we ought to. So let's start by playing out two hobbit pipes. Which costs us nothing. Spending another 
on a resourceful, which will give us one additional resource around, and one more on a song of Rendell, which will draw us a card. Not as helpful as I'd hoped, frankly. But what can you expect? Let's grab a staff of Labathron. And we'll play out gather information. This is going to be wonderful, I can already tell. Questing. We'll quest against four. We'll quest for two, four, six, eight, twelve. We have a resource saved for a test of will. First reveal, Umbar Square. Second reveal, Umbar Street. We've added five. Well, that's something. Fatty will raise our threat by one to cancel one point of threat. Putting four progress on the main quest. Travel to the narrow alleyway. Putting the Umbar Sentry underneath it. Optionally engaging the Umbar Sentry, readying Sam, who's now defending for three. Um, removing that, putting the archery on Pippin, and blocking, discarding that shadow card. And there we are. There's now five threat in the staging area. Ready everybody up. A third hobbit pipe. Well, over here, we're going to drop Thalion out and spend a resource to put a Dunedain warning onto Sam, who will now be de defending for two naturally. And over here, we'll be spending nothing. Saving up for a test of will, I suppose. Card draw is going to be a problem. Quest worth. Mary and Pippin 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14 with Fatty. Against 5 in the staging area, we need. We're questing to gather information, we need to make 6 progress. First reveal is a Settle on Soldier. Second reveal is Nowhere to Hide, which we will cancel with a Test of Will. Then we will spend one for Levenses to ready Fatty Bolger, reduce our threat by one. We added three. Oh, good. And trigger all three Hobbit Pipes. Making six progress. Exactly. Putting the Umbar Sentry there, and Thalion will ready at the start of the combat phase. We will then. Oh, the Port of Harad. Actually. Oh. I'll have to raise my threat, I think to uh, cancel the threat of the uh, Southern Soldier in order to make that work, but it still works, all things considered. Travel to the Umbar Street. The start of the combat phase, Thalion readies. We'll remove two progress from the main quest. Sam will block, cancelling the shadow effect on the one that just engaged us. Thalion will block the other. And the two archery will go one on Mary, one on Falco. Ready everybody up. Alright. No point in playing Bilbo for the Hobbit pipes, but we need his willpower. And let's put out an Ancient Mathem on that as well. While over here, we will play a Dunedain pipe onto Thurindir. And, oh, gather information happened. 
we didn't pull stuff out of our deck. So actually, I'm going to put Bilbo and the Waters of Nimrodal back, because that should have happened beforehand. So what I'm going to pull out is not double back, like you might think. It's Arwen, because we're in desperate need of willpower. And over here, it will be... Hmm. Deep knowledge, because we're in desperate need of card draw. Close and shuffle, drawing a card. And we drew our card there. So, we didn't have resources to spend on Bilbo. Instead, we will play Arwen. We don't have enough for Glorfindel yet. We will play a Dunedain Pathfinder. Looking at the top five cards of the deck to find a Haradrim Estate. Okay. And we'll play that Deep Knowledge. Drawing two cards. There's Bill the Pony. Drawing two cards. Oh, and there's Bilbo. So you know what? We are going to play for four, play out a Gladrum Minstrel, and Bilbo Baggins. There are no Hobbit Pipes left in the deck, so I'm not going to bother. Over here, I am going to do as I said, and pipe away... Oh, no, not the Dune Dune. Pipe. I'm going to pipe away the second copy of Thalion. Which gets me a Hobbit Cloak. I'm going to play out Build a Pony for free. And I spend one to get send for eight up there. No, that won't do me any good. We're going to put Hobbit Cloak out. Sam Gamgee against enemies with an engagement cost higher than our threat is now going to be defending for five, six if we ready. Okay, questing. Two, four, six, eight targeting Sam. 10, 12, 15, 16. 16 against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ew. That's going to be nasty. First reveal. Injured companion. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Raise my threat by 7. Not a fan. While over here it would be... Five, raise threat by five. In both cases, the choice is bad. We're going to discard Build a Pony and a Dune Dame Pathfinder, reducing threat by th or willpower by three. The second reveal is another Umbar Square, which means we're making only one progress. Sam Fatty Bulger will cancel, we'll raise our threat by three to cancel three threat. We're gonna make four progress, just like that. Drawing three cards and playing Island of Mid Perils to return Gladwell's Handmaiden to hand. Drawing three more. Okay. 
Oh, actually, Thalion was meant to be questing too. I don't know why he wasn't, because he's going to ready at the start of the combat phase. There's two archery out. Bilbo and Arwen. Sam will block one of these. That's fine. We will remove a progress token from the quest. Take the other undefended. Three damage will go on to Thalion. It does not destroy a character. And Folco and Thalion will kill an Umbar sentry. And now everybody will ready. Goodness gracious. All right. What are we looking like? Over here, we will play Halfling Bounder. Pipe away our second pipe. Instead, drawing a sneak attack. Spend resource on send for aid. And over here, we'll spend four to get two handmaidens into play. Both of them targeting this deck. No, we'll leave two. And now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven threat in the staging area. We're going to quest to send for aid. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Arwen targeting Fatty Bulger. Questing for 20 against 11. First reveal is a Sutheran Soldier. Adding 3. Second reveal, Injured Companion. Cancelled with a Test of Will. So we're making exactly as much as we need to be, as much progress as we need to be. Am I getting that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Sigh. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hey, you know what? We're just going to take the six progress and send send for eight to the victory display. Looking at the top ten cards of the deck and putting a northern tracker into play, which was exactly what the doctor ordered. While over here, we're going to look at the top ten cards of the deck and put. Gandalf into play, triggering his ability to draw three cards. And now we're going to travel to the Haradrim Estate. which will look through the encounter deck to pull out a Harad enemy. Like that other Umbar sentry. And put it into play, then put a progress on the main quest. This will ready Sam Gamgee.
block, and then at the beginning of the combat phase, Ranger of Cardolan readies. We will block the first one with Gandalf, and block the second one with Sam, discarding his shadow card, and strike back with Folco and Thaleon, killing one of the Umbra sentries. The two archery points going to Gandalf, who is discarded. And that goes down. No, that one stays at one. And ready, everybody up. There's peace and thought. And now we are going to spend two to put out another Galadriel's handmaiden. Dropping threat by one. And over here, we're going to save up for Rosie Cotton or Halbrad, depending. And we're going to take a risk, play with our threat to, to draw some more cards. Oh, that's perfect. We're going to play out double back. And over here, we're going to spend two to get out Robin Smallbra. And we're going to do and pipe away one of our copies of Rosie to draw. Oh, that didn't get to the bottom of the deck. Let's try that again, to draw an elf stone, which we will play on to the Haradrim estate. It is not immune to player card effects, it just cannot have progress placed on it in the staging area. At the start of the quest phase, we will play Elrond's Council, reducing our threat by three, and drawing three cards. Oh, that is so wonderful. If we successfully clear the quest stage, we are going to be putting Glorfindel into play. Or if we successfully clear the location, at least. There's one, two, three, four, five, eleven threat in the staging area. I'm going to spend a resource to play Dwarven Tomb on our test of will, because I'd like to keep control of the encounter deck. I'm going to leave Folco up so that we can, if all goes well, oh, and Thurinder's up, like that. We can defend with Sam and kill the Umbar sentry. So 11, we can quest for 2, 3, no, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're questing for 13 already. 14, 18, 22. We're questing for 11 to double back. We only need... Um, six progress. So the first reveal enfeebled exhausted characters cannot ready. Oh, and each player exhausts the character he controls. Arwen is still targeting Fatty Boulder. Um you know what, I'm okay with letting that go through. I'll just soak the archery for another round. Second card is an Umbar Street. We've headed three, prog three threat to the staging area. So we are making eight progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We drop each deck's threat by five, which is an incredible feat when you think about it. We clear the Haradrim Estate. 
using the elf stone to put Glorfindel into play for free. Are we going to travel anywhere? No, not really. We're not going to engage anybody either. We're just going to take Archery 1, put it on Glorfindel, block with Sam, discarding the Shadow card. Sam has four defense. We're fine. Ready everybody up. A wandering took. Oh, and Thaleon is now a hero and should be getting a resource every round, not a progress token. We're going to Dunedain Pipe away that peace and thought. Instead, getting out an Imledris Caregiver, which we will play out. Which we won't play out, frankly. Let's... Hmm. Hmm. If I save for peace and thought, I'll have... I can then bank enough to play Waters of Nimrodel. Oh! The Ranger, or Thaleon, has a leadership resource token. We'll spend two from his... one from his pool and one from Sam's. His pool is a little more versatile, actually. He also has a spirit token. So two from Sam's to put Rosie into play, because next round... Or the round after, we can kill, we can engage, or we can play Halbrad, which will fix our engagement cost worries for the rest of the game. Then we're going to leave that so that we can play Peace and Thought at the end of the round, I think. Drawing five cards. That would be nice. Alright, and over here, as far as playing things, I'm not sure how many more locations are left in the encounter deck. Let's look and see how many have gone as shadows. And I don't know how many there are in the encounter deck. So, you know what, I'm going to wait on the Dune Dane Pathfinders. Just because it might be a good idea. Let's start organizing though. Pulling all of the allies together. Let's play out a couple of wandering tooks. And save a resource for a test of will. At the start of the quest phase, we'll play Elrond's Council, lowering our threat by three to draw three cards. Ooh, a couple more copies of Song of Arendo, and some more cheap um, or free threat reduction. That's good. Very good. Over here, it's the start of the quest phase. We'll boost Pippin's willpower. Glorfindel, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's scoot all these locations together. Sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Just to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Plus five is twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Questing for 28 against 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Questing to the main quest. First reveal is another Southern Soldier. Second is another Umbar Square. We've added 5. Um, 
We're making nine progress. And Fatty can raise our threat by three to cancel the threat of one of the Southern soldiers, allowing us to make three more progress at the start of the combat phase. Thaleon readies. We have Archery 1. We'll put it again on Wolfendel. Sam will block discarding with that, with the Staff of Lebethron, Falco, and Thaleon. We'll kill the Umbar Sentry. And we advance the quest immediately. When revealed, end the current phase. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Starting with the first player, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter get deck and will till we discard an enemy. There we go. And we will discard for player one. Oof. A Southron Archer. We're going to have to discard an ally. Let's drop Rosie Cotton. There's two more of her in the deck. And for the other deck, we're going to discard until we get an Umbar Sentry. That's fine. That's just fine. We're not going to use Pippin's ability. And now, cannot defeat the stage until we've killed all the enemies engaged with us. Um, if any player is not engaged with an enemy, discard the cards from the top of the encounter deck. We're just going to leave this deck engaged with an Umbar Sentry and keep blocking it with Fatty Bulger, I think. That's how this is going to go. Ready up in the refresh phase. Um, player or deck two will play Peace and Thought, and we're going to do, do Thaleon, drawing five cards. And there's Rosie Cotton, and Denise Red Ranger. I was really kind of hoping for a fast hitch. And over here. I can only play events, but I might as well play Island of Mid Perils to bring Gladriel's Handmaiden back. Dropping my threat by two, and since I can, drawing three more cards. Ah, there's a Northern Tracker. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And now, it's a new round. All right, this deck is first player. We are going to play four for a second Northern Tracker. Which will actually let me clear all of those locations very quickly, but no. Not a second, no, we're going to spend four playing out two more copies of Galadriel's Handmaiden. Like that. Reducing my threat by two each time. And then one on playing a Song of Arendelle. Which draws a card, another copy of Bill of Wagons. Over here, I'm going to spend three, no, no point really. Well, I mean I could, but not really a point. I'm going to spend one put a Dune Dane Warning onto Fatty Bulger, boosting his defense to four when he's targeted by Arwen, and Sam is defending for four naturally and can discard the Shadow card, so the Southern Archer, we don't have to worry about that.
Okay. So, let's see what we can do. We'll go questing. There is currently, actually after I quest commit Northern Tracker to the quest, that will cause both of these two copies of Umbar Square to be explored, leaving us with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Threat in the staging area. And I can quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty two. Twenty-five or twenty-seven. Twenty-seven against sixteen. You know what? We're also going to sneak attack Gandalf in, and this time we are going to use him to drop our threat by five and commit to the quest, making it 31. And discarding an Elven Light already to ready Glorfindel. So, the first reveal is an injured companion, which I will cancel with the Test of Will. And the second reveal is a southern captain, which adds one, two, three, four, five threat all on his own to the staging area. So now we're making ten progress. I'm okay with that. Now we're dealing out shadow cards. The Umbar Sentry, Fatty Bolger will defend it for four. It gets plus one attack, so Fatty takes a point of damage. Sam will defend for four. Oh, three archery. All of it goes on Gandalf. Sam will defend for four, discarding a shadow card. At the end of the round, Gandalf returns to hand. And Glorfindel actually will also attack, do two damage, just so we can be prepared when the time comes. Now we'll ready everybody up. Okay, in the shadows, that's useful. So... Deck two is first player. We could use some. We could use rosy cotton, really, is what we could use. And we could use. Um, an East Road Ranger for some extra attack. If we leave Fatty and the East Road Ranger up. We can attack for six, and with in the shadows, that'll be enough. Or, or sorry, Folko. Actually, if we leave East Road Ranger and Thalion up, no, it needs to be a Hobbit hero. So that's what we're looking at right now. Over here. I'm going to spend one on yet another Song of Arendelle to draw a card. One, two, 
one on a dwarven tomb to return the test of will to hand and one to return elven light to hand drawing another card well that bid didn't quite work out but things could be worse All right. All right. So we're going to quest and first the Northern Tracker. They're all quit committing simultaneously, but I'm going to deal with the Northern Tracker first. Because he's going to clear two more locations, leaving me with just a number square with two progress on it. So, 1416 threat in the staging area. We're going to quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine. Going to quest for 29 against 16. The first reveal will be cancelled by a test of will. The second reveal, the number of sentry who surges into a separate archer. Who both have extra. So we've added 5 threat to the staging area. We're discarding an elven light to ready Glorfindel. That'll be sufficient. We're still making eight progress. Oh, should note that we could only ever have had 15 progress there. That'll leave that there. And there will be archery. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We are going to play in the shadows to reduce every enemy's um, every enemy okay to reduce this enemy's attack and defense by one and now we're going to deal out shadow cards Sam Gamji will defend discarding that shadow card with the staff of Levithron Fatty will defend the Umbar Sentry. Taking no damage. Glorfindel, well, no, over here. Folko attacks, boosted by Rosie. And the East Road Ranger. Between them, that six attack with its minus one defense, we can kill the Southern Archer. Oh, wait. First, six archery damage. I forgot to do that. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. This was a safe play regardless of how the shadows turned out because I would be able to um, exhaust and discard that shadow and they were only going to be attacking for three. So. There's that, I guess. There were enough hit points that I could apportion the archery out in such a way that it wouldn't make a difference to the results of defense and combat. So we kill that one, kill that one with Glorfindel, and we have won the game. Goodness gracious. This quest is not for the faint of heart. Nor is it a particularly good match for these decks. I can't tell you how many times I was bashing my head against this one. There were a lot of playthroughs. 10? 11? 
just to get a single win like this. And I was lucky I didn't see a single one of the encounter side quests in this game. So this quest and these decks are not good matches. This deck requires really it requires you to uh, hit heavily from the start of the game and to be able to to deal with enemies from turn one ideally to start killing things from turn one because otherwise there are so many effects that will end up with the enemy f with the staging area full of enemies all of whom are sending archery damage down at you and many effects like the treachery Um, nowhere to hide that will just put more enemies engaged with the first player we were lucky in that we had enough tests of will and copies of dwarven tomb to handle that we were lucky that we got the threat reduction out when we did we were lucky that we got our card draw online well no mostly what it is is we were lucky to survive the first two turns of the game so that we could get our board state intact once our board state was intact then we were going to be just fine, of course. Because there's not many quests in the game that late in the game can hit hard enough to take these decks down with an established board state. Not counting, you know, the Heirs of Numenor Battle and Siege quests, which this deck is uniquely bad at. Okay, uniquely is a strong term, but very bad at. <laughs> I mean, even now, if we were battle questing, how much would we be battle questing for? Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. 14, 15, 17? We'd be battle questing for 17, and we'd raised our threat by 4. With this amount of threat in the staging area, there's no way that we can battle quest enough to uh, deal with that. It would be an interesting question to see if we've handled the Siege of Carandros. Which, well, I don't say that we could handle the entire Siege of Care Andros, but I bet we'd get to the last stage and then find out that we can't handle battle questing. <laughs> That's about what it would probably look like. Um, because we'd, I think we could clear all the battlegrounds just by playing side quests and doing regular questing instead of siege questing to clear the battleground locations. Assuming bad luck doesn't trigger and we, uh, you know, or we could even just let the banks go and handle the uh, the stage two. That's a willpower stage. I'm rambling now, and you all y'all aren't here to listen to me ramble. I got off topic. As I was saying, there's not a lot of encounter decks that can that can put out a punch that'll knock out these decks once the board state is established but modern quests like this escape from umbar often will hit hard enough from the beginning that getting that board state established is going to be a difficult proposition at best so look forward to more thoughts on this quest and these decks in the article I hope you enjoyed watching. Come back next time, um, which will probably be a return to the um, Agents of the White Council series, where we will be taking our narrative campaign up against Return to Mirkwood. And that should be a very exciting proposition. Until then, goodbye.